What's up, everybody? Michael here, episode 74 of Live Day Trading. We are looking at ticker symbol BA. Let's get into it. Okie dokie, this is what I'm seeing. I'm on the one minute chart. I'm also kind of flipping between this and the five minute, just to kind of get a good sense as to where price action is going. On the five minute, a gap down today and then acted as support around here, kind of went bounce up a little bit and then broke through this and then acted as resistance and then burst through it. And now the price action is kind of moving around this point. So I figured, hey, I can probably capture some profits if it moves up all the way down to this blue line and maybe even past some. The MACD does look like it wants to cross over. I gotta be careful here because it does potentially present itself as a bounce point. So what you could potentially do is consider this an area to actually get in long so it moves up higher. But with the market gapping down, there's more ideals in our favor to be short, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna happen. BA has been, um, BA meaning uh, Boeing, the stock that I'm trading right now. I'm not in this stock, but it has been acting pretty well, so I've been trading it um, pretty frequently. I haven't really moved too much off of it. I've just been waiting for patterns to form. Um, not saying that I wouldn't trade something else, but it's just been working out in my favor. So I'm going to see here if I can get a good entrance. Uh, if I cannot, then I'll just move on. Okay, so I just entered into the trade. Um at 203.47, I'm thinking it's going to be breaking down. I actually, it looked like it was breaking down just there. And for some reason, it just filled me a little bit a little bit higher. But I think we'll be seeing a breakdown. And we'll probably, it's kind of forming this cliff, as you can see. There's a lot of downwards pressure forming kind of a sideways action. There's that cliff. About 250 shares. Push, 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 baby. Push, baby. <laughs> Push. All right, I'm going to capture some profits. Come on, push down to the blue line. Here we go. Could form a hammer candle, which I'll get out of the trade immediately if it does, but see if we can get a little bit deeper of a push here. This is the one minute time frame I switched over. Come on, it's slowing down a little bit on me. Right, I'm going to do another 50 shares down there just in case, and I'm going to have 100 shares left. Yeah, I'm going to get out. It might go lower. Um, I could technically have the stop loss a little bit higher, but you know what? I don't want to mess with it. Uh, Boeing could get could, could get pretty aggressive, so I went ahead and got out of the position. It's loading right now. Um, $68 profit in about a couple minutes. See, there you go. See, there's that pump up. See, look at that. So it formed this cliff, dropped down, captured those profits, and then look at it take off. I got out just in time. <laughs> now this could be a potentially a good interesting area to actually get back into it um, up in this point. I can fade back into this level. I do think that the price wants to head lower. I mean, just look at it. It's lower highs all the way through, lower lows pretty much all the way through too. Um, it is pretty bearish, but it doesn't look like the price wants to go down um, right now at this particular point. But I, it's kind of looking like it's heading there. Let me look at the five minute chart again. Yeah, it's it's just struggling to break through this blue line down here. Um, as you can see, it acted as support, support, and then resistance, and then it blew through it. Um, but you can see, obviously, there's a lot of downwards pressure. So it wouldn't be the worst idea to like get more shares up in here. But $68 profit, I'm going to call it quits for the day. Um, just wanted to kind of point out a couple different time frames for you. Um, that was a quick scalp. I will see you back here tomorrow. Um, actually, I'll probably see you later today if you watch my S&P 500 technical analysis updates. But I will be back with live trading tomorrow. See you later.